Hi everyone, I'm Tulsi. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. And today we're making romantic traits as Sims. Because we actually have quite a few romantic traits now, especially with the Love Struck expansion pack that came out recently, we have the Love Bug and Romantically Reserved, as well as some old traits like Romantic and Unflirty. So I thought, why not give them a face, see what they would look like as Sims. So we're going to be starting with the OG one, with the Romantic trait, and also Non-Committal. I kind of threw it in there, but it's not really good enough to deserve its own place as a sim, kind of, because it's not like fully for just romance, it's also for jobs and stuff, so I didn't really feel like it deserved to be its own sim. And also because I don't really want to make five sims, even four is kind of a lot, so let's just make two and one, start with that here. And I'm kind of feeling maybe like female Don Lothario vibe, so that's why I also gave her green eyes. I feel like Don has them, right? So let's get started with the hair, which is I guess going to be black to match Dawn. And I'm thinking kind of like long long black luscious hair it it doesn't necessarily have to be straight maybe like a bit wavy but not like super curly like something like this but i'm thinking like beautiful long flowy kind of like romantic seductive hair so kind of like you're focusing on her looking so amazing and while you're doing that you're not even realizing that she's breaking your heart by the time you realize it's just way too late because you were just staring at her beautiful face and hair so that's kind of the vibe so let's try to find a hair like that oh even something like this is quite pretty it's maybe just a bit too gentle look this one's gorgeous. The top of it is a bit too formal though. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. And we have options for like the hair in the front or no hair. Well, yes, hair, but not on the front. But maybe something like in between like here. I want to try that and then we can kind of see. So let's move on to the makeup and have something that's actually handpicked by me exactly for her. So let's go look for that. This little kiss on the cheek. I don't know where she got it from, who she got it from. It's probably better not to know because maybe, maybe it's from a married sim so we probably shouldn't get involved but maybe i want to give her like a lipstick that matches this wait would that even make sense i mean she's not the one kissing her own cheek right but <laughs> all right let's give her red lipstick anyway because i just kind of want to kind of want to go in that direction so let's give her this sort of lipstick maybe just make it a little bit darker i still kind of want to match it to the one on her cheek but i have just realized that that doesn't make any sense so <laughs> it doesn't really matter oh but you know what the problem here is that this is now low-key giving christmas with the green eyes and this like red stuff no um i thought it would be giving dawn but right now it's going christmas so <laughs> maybe maybe i want to give her a different eye color darker eyes although it looks really good on her it's making her look a little bit too warm and i don't really want that so if anything we should probably go with like the colder blue eyes especially oh especially because it matches the diamond and the non-committal trait so i feel like that's really good so moving on back to the makeup she needs a bit of eyeliner which i want to make kind of like sharp and fierce this is going along the right lines maybe a bit darker though this is actually beautiful one of my favorite liners wait that actually looks really good i wasn't gonna go for this one i was thinking more this one. Oh, that does actually look a little bit better in her eye shape wow she's already just so stunning exactly what i was thinking one more thing that i have specifically for her is the little rose that we have in the romantic trait so i felt like that would be really perfect for her to have in her hair so we'll definitely go with this i mean it does clip a little bit i have this smaller one but i feel like that one is like a little bit too small so i feel like we can live with a bit of clipping but i'm eyeing this dress oh it looks really good it's just like really red my g shade does not like red whatsoever so maybe i'm gonna change my mind on that but i kind of want to use something like this but if i go with black first of all it's definitely more made not so much like just romantic but also like a little bit too dark so maybe something different this will be really cute as well it does have a bit of red it has these like red hearts and stuff it's just a little bit too I don't know. It feels like a little bit too relaxed for her, actually. Oh, these dresses look amazing. I'm actually really tempted to go with this. That looks that looks so stunning. I want to look around a little bit more, but I'm really sold on this. I have some new tops as well, which I could try. I could actually go with this as a top, just that. It's still a little bit too red. You can't even see the details. That's really bothering me, so I don't think I will. Oh, and I have these. Oh, that's really pretty. It's maybe just a bit too cutesy and romantic for her, but we have some options. We have this black one. I mean, the red is still like really redding there, isn't it? It's just a bit much. You can't even see what it is, but I feel like it kind of makes a little bit more sense potentially because I want to do something with the skirt that will kind of represent a rose a little bit better because the other dress, which was absolutely gorgeous, like, yes, it was gorgeous, but it doesn't really like, I want to bring in that rose shape somehow. And this is a bit too, I don't know. It still has a really romantic vibe. I kind of really want to, but I want to try something different first. If this, idea 
idea doesn't work out, then we'll go back to this. This is like our plan B, but it's a really good one, so I don't really mind. But I want to go back to this and then potentially try it with a red skirt that has some kind of like more like ruffly sort of texture. So it looks a little bit more like rose petals because I want to not really emphasize the hearts that much because neither of these traits necessarily have hearts. So I really want to go with this rose theme and then kind of like color scheme of this more like chains and black, but still go with roses. Am I making sense? That's not, not really that flattering, but you kind of sort of get the idea. I want to try something that has like a little bit more to it though. Oh, that looks really good, but it's just so red, but it does really look like a rose. I do love the dress that I put on her, but I think I want to go with this and like long strappy. Yes, heels like this. This is actually turning out so good already. Okay, I'm just going to give her some like long red nails. Again, they're super red, but I, I hope that we can kind of look past it. And I did mention that I wanted to go with like chain sort of situation because of the non-committal trait. So we could throw a bit of that in and do something like this, which I think is absolutely amazing and make it black like that. And I think I have a matching, well, not necessarily a matching, but a bracelet that could kind of match that because it has like a bit of a chain situation, this one. So we can make that black as well. And continuing in the chain sort of theme, we can do a little bit more with accessories. Oh, am I kind of thinking a facial piercing for her to just fully maximize the chaininess of the situation? I feel like a lip piercing would actually look good on her, but the eyelashes are a bit of a problem and I don't really want to change them because there's just some issues with them conflicting with stuff. Right now, after like the eyelash update and everything, I just don't really want to bother with that. So I'm going to be staying away from that. You know what? I never usually do eyebrow piercings. They're just not really something I enjoy, but she actually really suits one. And do I give her earrings? We can kind of see her ears, so we probably should. Look at that. That actually looks so good. You can't really see it from the hair, but I feel like that really, really suits her because she's kind of like a dangerous sort of lover. That's what I'm kind of trying to do here. And we can do a necklace. So let's go for a necklace. And I want to do something silly for the necklace to match the ring, like the blue-ish diamond on the ring. So I want to have her have like a black necklace with a blue pendant, which is going to be hard to find. I don't even know if that's going to be possible but okay obviously not this one but this is basically the vibe just a lot better <laughs> wait that's actually good and goes with her eyes luckily i actually changed the eyes to blue because this i was worried that this is going to be a little bit too random because i knew i wanted to do that but it's actually going really well with the eyes uh, one more thing that i want to do is give her tattoos because we got some tattoos with love struck and i thought that that would be kind of fun with like the little ex's names crossed out but honestly it doesn't really look that good but i see this one and it's literally a rose we need some more rose representation in her so i feel like this is perfect and i can actually make it red oh my gosh that's so good so our romantic non-committal sim two in one is finished i'm absolutely obsessed with her she looks so so good let me know what do you think about her i i think that she's really good i was worried about the blue just being there like i don't know where but with the eyes and everything she's so amazing you know what she reminds me of one of my really old sims if you're an og you will know allison from my 100 baby oh my gosh that's so interesting but now moving on to a complete opposite which is the unflirty trait so let's get started with this one this one is definitely going to be interesting because it's going to be quite different i gave this base gray eyes because i didn't really want to go with pink but we might actually change it but i felt like gray kind of made sense with the little like hoop there so we can kind of go in that direction i'm feeling kind of slightly shorter hair on her which maybe i also want to make gray mm, i don't know maybe i I want to leave it white and then I can do like a little overlay magic later but I'm kind of thinking maybe like a hair like this. I low-key want her to have a bit of a more like messy cut and maybe even a lot of hair covering her face because I did also make her gloomy and socially awkward because I, I don't know it's not really her area of expertise so she would just kind of feel awkward especially in this sort of video where love is the focus isn't it so <laughs> this is definitely not the place for her she does not want to be here so we can kind of represent that in the hair kind of make her hide a little bit but not too much because we still want to see what we're doing, right? I'll use this hair in a previous video, so I'm not going to go for it, but it does suit her nicely. Oh, what are we thinking for this one? This one's cute. Maybe it's a bit dark. <laughs> Maybe it is a bit dark. What about this, this shade? Oh, that's cute. Okay, moving on to makeup. It kind of matches her eyes quite perfectly, but not in a really matchy way. And I actually have something picked out for her already for eyeliner. So we can go, I mean, we could actually go with this like in-game thing. That just looks a little bit too sad. I don't really want to make her like she had some actually bad experiences but i have this one which oh that, 
that was just like not a dramatic reveal whatsoever when you see what the thumbnail is, isn't it? But I have this one and that just looks so good. But I want to lower the opacity quite a bit, but oh my gosh, that looks amazing with the hearts. Like, are you kidding me? That's perfect for her. What are we doing for the eyeshadow? I still want to continue in the like more of a silvery theme because the outfit is mostly going to be pink. So I think I'll just go with more of a silvery shiny theme here. So we still have that kind of shimmery metal looking sort of thing. I love that. It really looks nice with her eye shape. Maybe maybe she's just still a little bit flushed from crying a little bit too much about not liking romance. Oh my gosh, why am I so mean to this sim? Like, I don't want to give her like a tragic backstory. I mean, pink literally goes. It's her main color. So I feel like I just, I don't even have to explain it. It's it's just pink because it is. And oh, you know what? Actually, the little hoop, that looks like a septa piercing like that, doesn't it? So let's just try to give her something like that that looks a little bit better. I feel like I want to keep that. But this is not not why I'm here. This is just like a little side quest. But the main thing is, I'm really excited for this. Look at that. That's literally what the trait is. Look at that. That's amazing. I'm so excited for that. Like that is just made for her literally. And I think there is a matching necklace to that. So let's just find it real quick. Okay. So we have this one. It's like so cute. Maybe it's not going to work with the outfit, but we'll see in a second. But we have a lot of gray going on. Let's go and try to find an overlay that would work with this. I could give her just pink hair in general, but I don't really think I want to. It doesn't really look right on her. <gasps> Oh, that's cute. I don't even need to make it lower. That's actually really good. But the eyebrows are so dark. Maybe I want to make them like a little bit brighter. Even that doesn't li really look that good. But you know what? I'm getting kind of... Okay, this is going to be like a bit of a weird one, but I'm getting kind of cartoony vibes from her. So why don't we do a bit of a more cartoony eyebrow for her and give her the squiggly ones. That actually looks so cute on her. I always love to use these. There's just never really a good opportunity to. So whenever I can, I do. Anyway, let's move on to dress her. I have something in mind, but I don't know if it's gonna look really good. I mean, it is a little bit strange to give her this heart dress when she's like a complete opposite of it. If this was maybe like a broken heart or something, it would make a little bit more sense. But I kind of love this vibe for her. It just kind of makes sense to me. For some reason, this is really giving like superhero sort of look to me. So I feel like I want to pair it with some long big boots, something like this potentially, like this even, if it has any colors that match. This one sort of does. I don't know if I like it anymore though. Maybe if I make it gray. Oh, definitely not. What if we go with something like this? It's, it's definitely not the length that I wanted to do, but we can do something a little bit different here but I feel like these are really good and they actually have like little hearts on them as well which matches the jewelry and the dress. I'm a little bit scared off on what to do with the like leg situation. Do I want to cover them up somehow or not? So I'm just gonna give her nails to buy myself a couple of minutes to think. So I'll just make these kind of metallic silver-ish as well which I think suits really really good. It's just so shiny. We have stuff like this. Also it doesn't really go. I just can't really figure out what to do. This maybe it's it doesn't suit the look absolutely. Oh, you know what? I was just clicking around on like random ones and this actually looks really good on her. Obviously not in that color, but if we go with maybe like, okay, this is a bit too beige, but what if we go with white? <gasps> Wait, I kind of love how that looks. Not gonna lie, that looks really cute. I can't really explain it, but it fits the look quite well. I wanted to see if I can give her any like accessories in her hair maybe. I'm not really seeing anything that would be really useful, but what if we try a hat? This also has a heart on it. Let me just see if there are any other swatches. Okay, gray, definitely not. White uh, doesn't really go that well. I think maybe I want to go with pink. Well, our unflirty sim is finished as well. She definitely looks like she's been through some stuff and she just doesn't really want to be here anymore. And that's fair enough. So I guess that we'll just be moving on to, again, a complete opposite, our love bug sim. And I'm really excited for her because I have a relatively clear vision of what I want to do with her. And she's just going to be really cutesy and colorful and fun. So I'm just super excited. But one of the obstacles is that I don't really know what to do about the hair. I have no idea, to be honest. So that's going to be a bit of a difficult starting point because I have to get the hair out of the way. I'm kind of thinking this one, it probably won't really work for what I want to do. So I don't know. I'll keep it as an option. Also, I don't know if I want to make it like black or brown. Oh, she looks really good with brown hair. Or should we go with yellow to kind of go with like the little star or the pink for the hearts? I don't think I really like that. I kind of really like her with brown hair, which doesn't really make sense for anything. But maybe I'll just leave it or, or actually with blue 
blue. Oh yeah, that doesn't really look good whatsoever. It does work with the color, but I don't think so. Wait, that's so pretty. It doesn't really go with like the cutesy, colorful, kitty, childish, goofy vibe, but it's just gorgeous. So maybe something like there or this one. Oh, that looks really pretty. It might conflict with the glasses that I want to give her though. Oh, this one is absolutely gorgeous. But I did mention glasses, so I'll just jump on that immediately because I really want to show you. So they're like really similar vibes to these. So they're these glasses. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's like so cute. Basically the little trait, but just in glasses form. That is just absolutely adorable. I'm just so excited for this. So we're just building the entire look based on this. And the eyeliner that I want to give her is going to be this one. Oh, you can barely see it from the glasses. I don't know if I really like that. It all seems like a little bit too cramped. Let's just leave it and we'll see. But I don't think that she really needs eyeshadow then because she has like too much going on already. I think I just want to give her like a really cute, really cute blush. So we can maybe make it like quite pink like that, just like a little bit lower. And lips as well. I think I'll just keep kind of like simple because she just has so much going on. And I'll add even more to her face because I have some really cute stars that I can put on her. So I want to make the lips like kind of simple as well. But okay, let's go and face paint and actually give her the stars that I was thinking. They're like pimple patches, I think. But I think that they're just like really perfect for this. There's like no way that I don't use this. This is just absolutely adorable. You know what? The problem here is that I was kind of thinking I want to give her something for her hair, like an overlay. So I don't know. I think I have these in tattoos though. So maybe I should just try to see if I can find anything here for the hair first. But it might be a little bit difficult. So oh, this could work. Wait, this could work actually. Oh, I don't know about blue though. It doesn't really look good, does it? Pink is really cute. It's just maybe a bit too much of it. What about yellow? <gasps> That actually looks cute. I think I really like yellow. It's kind of like not really what we need that much because there isn't that much yellow to this. I don't think I'll really bring in yellow anywhere else. So it might as well be in the hair. But I did say go into tattoos to give her the little pimple patches, the little stars. So let's try to find those. And oh my gosh, I have these colorful tattoos. <gasps> Wait, that goes with the glasses perfectly and stuff with that style that I wanted to have or have. I never really had a chance to use this. The one sim that I had them on died. So this is kind of giving like a nice tribute to my sim Nilani. So I think I'll keep it. It's maybe a bit much. It doesn't really have anything to do with romance, uh, but I love the vibe of this little icon. So I'm just going to go with it fully. But anyway, this is not why I'm here. <laughs> Let me just find these. Okay, so she had, I think, these. So we can actually go and dress her. And I have some new dresses that I haven't really had a chance to try. We tried them on the, on the romantic sim but we decided not to go with it with this one obviously not right for this one and this would be like more close but it's just a little bit too pink because i want to go more for this color so does this one have this one has more colors so like there or there even <gasps> that's really close the color of that is like so solid though i think it has some kind of like overlay for for it though so maybe i can try to look for that but what if we do pink wait are you kidding that's so cute should i try yellow oh that's that's really reminding me of bloom from winx club that's so funny but no i think the pink looked absolutely phenomenal so i'll just go with pink no idea what kind of shoes would go with this probably something like that but <laughs> I don't know if I really like it that much. Even these that I actually did on the previous sim would actually be so cute, which is a bit of a shame. Are you kidding me? That actually suits so well. I've never got a chance to use these. Okay, hear me out. This is a bit of a weird one, but I gave her a backpack because it matches the color of this so perfectly. And it has a little heart in the back. I feel like that's so cute. And look at this. It just adds a bit of something to the front as well. It just looks like the straps for a dress, but it actually goes to a backpack. It's just kind of like functional and pretty so i feel like i want to keep that that's cute okay let's give her some nails i don't really know what i want to do for the nails maybe something that's like, kind of like multicolor, kind of like there and one more thing that i want to do is give her maybe some earrings i don't know if you'll be able to see them but she definitely doesn't need a necklace because she just has like too much going on here already i want to try these earrings oh you can kind of see them that's actually unexpected so let me see the colors so we can do bright pink which actually matches this pink quite well maybe like a more of a subtle pink or we could just go with like normal gold Gold, but that blends in with the hair a bit too much. This doesn't look too offensive. I feel like I want to go with this. So this gives us our love bug sim all finished. Let me know what you think. I think that she's kind of like crazy looking, but just kind of like crazy for love. I feel like I feel like she's fun. She's just kind of different. So moving on to our romantic.
basically reserved sim who i can already tell is gonna be such a cutie regardless of what we do so let's get started with her and i already know the hair that i'm gonna give her i downloaded these finally i remember when these hairs were super popular everyone was using them and it just took me a while oh i think because of back then i still used alpha hair but yeah i finally downloaded these so i definitely want to use them they're like so perfect for this like because i want to go for like a cutesy romantic vibe maybe with some like puffy sleeves or some kind of like lace maybe to represent this like closed off heart to have her be like closed up wrapped in something okay i'm getting ahead of myself but i'm also thinking kind of like lighter hair so maybe maybe blonde i don't know would that work for her okay maybe not like that the point of this hair literally the entire point is to give her the little bows that the hair comes with so let's give her these in pink obviously that matches the traits so well that's adorable it's literally perfect okay moving on to makeup which I actually have something in mind. These hearts, they're so cute. They would have actually looked really good on the unflirty sim because she has that on the, her dress as well, but okay, it's fine. So what's the difference between this one and this one? Oh, this one's more saturated. Okay, pink maybe, maybe like that. Oh, that matches the bows really, really well. And the lips, I think I just want to give her like really glossy, cutesy pink lips. So somewhere like maybe, maybe there. So it's not like super screechy pink because it's not supposed to be. So this is like really cute. But what if we go with something that has a bit of white to it so it kind of represents the shininess of the gloss does that make any sense probably not too much i can even make it pink which is really cute you can't really see it too much i have this as an option as well <gasps> Oh, well, this has white, but I don't really like the white that much. I actually really like this pink. It looks almost as if it's kind of like this is blended together. It really looks like it matches together really well. But one thing that's kind of throwing me off here is her eye color. I want to do something a little bit weird. Since I'm trying to accentuate this like glass part and we're not getting it anywhere, I'm thinking the eyes. But if I made the eyes white, that looks a little bit too weird, doesn't it? Maybe I can make it a little bit warmer. This is kind of like an okay in between of it looking kind of natural and also not really natural well okay then let's dress her and again i'm kind of drawn to this but it's just it's just way too bright it doesn't really work and it's not really for this sim because she's romantically reserved so i was kind of thinking more well not necessarily modest but a little bit more like i don't know a little bit more covered up she's covering up her heart when it comes to love so maybe she's covering up herself also that's the logic there but I'm probably not gonna go like too super ultra modest like this would have been real cute if it had any colors that matched oh you know what i'm really tempted to go with this dress which is literally the complete opposite of what i just said but we haven't used it on anyone i tried on like two sims already and it just didn't really fit anywhere and i got this dress specifically for this video so i want to throw it in somewhere maybe you know what it looks phenomenal on this sim maybe we can try to find a way to cover this area up but still keep the dress because i have a lot of things that could work and the accessories like these sleeves i literally just clicked that as an example but it actually looks absolutely amazing and it has like a lot of swatches so surely something will help even this like default one actually looks really good but if it had something a little bit more to it like this color but with some hearts would have been absolutely like chef's kiss but i don't think that's like so specific but we have some patterns so maybe if i look a little bit harder we'll actually find something that kind of works we have this little strawberries oh my gosh imagine if that was hearts that would have been like really good and oh my gosh we actually do have them that's literally what i wanted that's actually really amazing are you kidding me that looks amazing i mean it's still a little bit too revealing for what i wanted this top is usually my go-to when i'm looking for an undershirt and that actually covers up the area perfectly so let's just see and usually never disappoints but this time it kind of does because the white is a little bit too bright if it was like a little off-white that had like a bit of pink in it it would have been really good well i also found this one that has like a, a white option but also like less white and i feel like that matches the sleeves really well and it does cover up a little bit more i'm not really sure what to do for the shoes maybe something like oh that would be really cute especially in this color so it kind of matches the dress and stuff but it's a little bit too casual something along these lines it kind of matches the bows as well which i really like but it's a little bit too casual compared to the rest of the outfits okay not the perfect pick but i think i'll just go with this i don't even know what i'm doing at this point but i'm still not fully sold on the hair i want to try something i keep going back 
box of hair like the last thing on all of these sims but i just can't really decide so i'm kind of thinking do we want to go with pink i don't know i don't know about pink but my problem is that i want to bring in a little bit more of this darker color here of this like little stand of it so it should be some kind of like more purpley color right that ugh, i don't know i feel like that doesn't really make that much sense but maybe it suits the same maybe a little bit darker and i feel like it kind of looks okay and it makes her look definitely a little bit more interesting i feel like i like the blonde a little bit better but I'll keep it just for sake of making her look a little bit different. So this is our romantically reserved sim as well. So let me know what you think of her too. I think that she's a cutie. I'm a bit confused if I ruin her with the hair or not. But other than that, I think that she's really cute. Let's do a recap of everyone. So we have our romantic and non-committal sim. Absolutely like gorgeous, obsessed with her. She's like terrifying, but in the best way. I think that she's just so, so stunning. She's, I'm not sure if she's my absolute favorite or maybe like second favorite. Then we have our poor and flirty sim who just looks like she's been through a lot i do feel quite bad for her i don't know what i did to her but i mean she's kind of interesting she definitely fits the theme she's just kind of a poor thing the love bug sim who is I think my favorite. I'm not fully sure between her and the romantic sim, but I'm just, I really love the vibe of her. She's just so fun. Doesn't have much to do with romance. Maybe just like this heart here and that's about it. But she's just, she's just so fun. And our sweet romantically reserved sim, who I'm still not really sure if I messed her up or not, but I think that she's still quite cute. So let me know which sim is your favorite and maybe which one can you relate to the most? I feel like I can kind of relate to, well, probably romantically reserved one the most when it comes to my approach to love so let me know which one is yours and do they match the sim that is your favorite from the video i really want to know but thank you so much for watching this video and if you haven't subscribed already subscribe so you don't miss any future videos like this and i see you in the next one bye